All right, welcome to this video on derivation of kinematics equations. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about how to derive a basic equation when you have a constant acceleration. And this is one of the most basic equations that you will deal with in terms of constant acceleration. And that's going to basically say that the final uh, velocity is equal to the initial velocity plus acceleration times the time. And the way that we start with this one is that we're going to start with the basic definition of acceleration in terms of velocity. Uh, acceleration is going to be the first derivative of the velocity function with respect to time. We could take it with respect to position, but there's no position in this formula, so we really are interested in dealing with velocity. So I need to get velocity out of this differential, and we're going to solve it very much like we did the last equation in the last video. I'm going to first separate my equations over here. So I'm going to basically write it like this. I'm going to say dv equals uh, acceleration times dt. Then in the next line, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to integrate both sides of this equation here. So I'm going to have the integral of dv equals the integral of a dt. Okay. And then I need to ask myself, what am I going to do with this acceleration? Well, in this case, acceleration is going to be a constant. So what I can do is I can take this out of the equation when I rewrite my integral here. So I can basically say now that I have the integral of dv is going to equal this constant acceleration, which comes out, times dt, or the integral of dt. Now, again, I need to decide, do I want to do an indefinite integral or a definite integral? Again, we always want to go with a definite integral when we can. So I'm going to go from v initial here to v final here. This is going to be t initial here to t final here. Okay. When I go ahead and evaluate v, I'm going to take v across from v initial here to v final. And when I take this one with t, I'm going to take acceleration times t evaluated across t initial to t final. Okay. So the, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and plug in these these endpoint these evaluated points here, the final and the initial points. Uh, so I'm going to end when I plug that in, I'm going to get v minus v initial is going to equal a times um, t final minus t initial. Now, a lot of times what people do is they might make this term equal to 0 and just leave that a t. But you can also just uh, remember that del uh, t final minus t initial is going to be just delta t. So I'm going to leave in the delta t just to kind of show you that we are uh, we can do it either way. Uh, we can leave it as t or I can say that, remember, t final minus initial is just going to equal the, the delta t here. Okay. So I'm going to end up finally with my equation here that's going to give me v final equals v initial plus a, in this case, delta t. That's just a change of time. And again, if I started from 0, that would just be the final time. Okay. And just finally, just to show you again, we're talking about velocity as a function of time. Okay, is v initial uh, plus acceleration times delta t. Why do I write that as a function of time? Well, simply put, we may not want it as a function of time, just depending upon what we're looking for. In this case, though, I do, because that, that's what the initial equation was uh, asking for. So that's it for this video. I just wanted to derive that kinematics equation. Check back for the next video on deriving more kinematics equations. Thanks for watching.